so today I'm going to be doing the what's on my iPhone tag. Looks like this, but you're going to see that in a second. And I'm just going to get into my case really quick and tell you guys where I got this from. This is from PacSun. I'm going to warn you, the studs will fall off, and I know everything falls off iPhone cases. Like, if you guys have, like, Gorilla Glue, that's what I use to glue them back on, you'll be fine. But some of the coloring is coming off the studs. And, but other than that, it's really nice. Again, it's from PacSun, and I would recommend it because it hasn't broken. I have chipped off part of it right But I'm ordering a case, so it's on its way. Uh, I wanted to show you guys what apps I use the most. And, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. And let's get into it. So now we're going to go into my iPhone. I have the white 4S iPhone. I've had this for a little while, but let's just get right into it. So, this is my lock screen. It says, draw close to God and God will draw close to you. And then I've got a lock. And this is my home row of apps. So, these are pretty much the standard way that they come on your iPhone. The messages, app store, another standard <laughs> iPhone app everyone has. Um weather because it's pretty standard and I don't really need another weather app reminders just for when you need an extra reminder to do so which is really nice notes and I have 88 notes we've got your calendar oh look today is free guys hit me up <laughs> I'm kidding then I've got my clocks so this is just the international clocks it's the alarm, the stopwatch, and timer. Um, Facebook, I'm not going to open that just because you guys all know what it is. Um, Game Center, again, another app I don't use, but I know a lot of people use that. Newsstand, app I don't use. Alright, let's go into utilities. So we've got my contacts right off the bat, and my calculator. Now we've got your compass. Yes, because everybody needs a compass. Look at me. Look at me go. Okay, and now we've got voice memos, another app I don't totally use, but it's standard on the iPhone. Flashlight, like this. I think that's really cool. It really helps me a lot. I use that a lot more than I thought I actually would. We've got stocks, another app I don't really use, and then settings. I Videos, I have no videos, so don't really use that. IP, everybody knows what that is, and if you don't, go look it up on the App Store. Um, YouTube, what's that? So YouTube, pretty standard YouTube app. Uh, let's go into my photography. So we've got Instagram, Camera Plus, this is a great camera app if you don't have that. Um, photos, I have 2,000 pictures on here. 2,500. Like, look at all these pictures. Okay. Then we've got your camera. Say hi to yourself. Wee. Inception. Okay. Snapchat. Because I love Snapchat more than just about everything. I'm kidding. I do love Snapchat, though. It's really fun. It's really good if you want to send, like, an embarrassing picture of yourself with, like, 45,000 chins. And then nobody can have it unless you send it for like seven seconds, which I learned the hard way. And then we've got your Insta frames. This, I mean, Insta collage, not Insta frames. Whiteagram for if you have a picture that's oversized or undersized for Instagram, if you put it on here, it will put a white background behind it. Then we've got reflection, and I have recently become obsessed with this app. You can take any picture and reflect it across itself. Let's take this picture and reflect it sideways. Yeah. And isn't that cool? There's two of me. Now we've got Visco Cam, which is a great app if you like light edits that are if you like light edits but you're not totally into editing, it's really easy. And then we've got Aviary. Aviary is just another photo editor, really easy. Simple to do. I like it. And then we've got Strum. This is a music video app. I don't really use this too much, but I've heard it's really cool. And then this is Split Cam. If you want to just split your picture in half to where two of you or two of whatever. I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. 
All right, well, let's move on to the second page of apps. So we've got, this is my less filled page. This is Passbook. Um, Pink Nation. This is a good app. I really like this app. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> there's a bunch of games and there's updates and sometimes you can get free coupons, so that's nice. Ruzzle, because it's a fun game, but I'm really bad at it. <laughs> And then Kick, it's a messaging app. If you've never heard of it, it's nice. I like it, that. And Bike Race. This, I'm addicted to Bike Race. I'm just not good at it. So it's a single player and challenge game. So you can play your friends or you can play by yourself. I choose to play by myself most of the time because of how bad I am. I'll just show you. Look. Watch, I'm going to die. No, stop. Hey. See what I'm telling you? I'm just not good at this game. We, I'm dead. But it's a lot of fun. It's a free app, or you can buy the 99 cent one, but I just bought the um, We heart it because I love these pictures. They're like Tumblr pictures, and I just love pictures like that. I think it's really cool. It's just a nice, clean, pretty app, and it's fun to look at when you've got pretty much nothing else to do. Oh, look at Nutella. Oh my gosh! Everyone calls them GIFs, but I call it a GIF. And I know that's wrong because now it's in the dictionary and it's called a GIF, but I think it still should be called GIF. It's a G. My name's G. We don't call it Drace. It's Grace. Anyways, on my rants, this is the Temple Run 2 app. I love this way more than I love Temple Run 1. I'm addicted to this also. I'm sure you guys are like, what? That's the last year, but I still love it because it's still a lot of fun. We've got the Tumblr app. This is just for blogs to look at other blogs. Um, Ruzzle Cheats. Shh. This actually comes in handy a lot. Um, I know that's really bad, but I only use it when I'm losing by a lot and I want to like bring myself back one round. I don't use it all the time, guys. Don't cheat. That's not good. Then we've got What's the Word? This is a fun game too. I get stuck so easily. I have to ask all my friends. I'm just like, somebody help me. I don't know what this is. S no, not Stork. Darn it. Here, um, we've got Fancy. I actually love this app. I think this app is so much fun because it takes like things that are so unnecessary and so like expensive and you can either buy them, which I never buy anything off here, but I love to just look at it. And I just love this app because it's just so much fun. Like, look at this. What? Edible cups? And why is that necessary? It's so unnecessary. It's hilarious. And it's $205. Like, what? What? Who wants an edible cup? Wouldn't it just, like, melt? Anyways. Now we're on to Pose. Another fun app. It's a fashion app for people who enjoy looking at other people's outfits and getting ideas from them. I really like to use this for fashion inspiration and just saving some of them. Sometimes there are things on here that are really pretty and if they're with this app, I think it's cool. I think the little dots and how you can figure out where everything's from is really cool as well. Alright, now we're down to my final constant row. That's what I call it. So I've got mail phone and then I've got my free music app so much music on my phone so much I have free music and then I have just my standard music app I was listening to relapse it's a good song um you know just random music on here that I really like um eight tracks this is my favorite radio app for my phone because of how it's so different like there's so many different things on here. There's so many, like, I, I love this app. Pandora, because we all know what Pandora is. Pandora's amazing. What song is this? So, yeah, and then we've got Shazam, because I love Shazam, too. I use this app so much to figure out what songs are. You just hit this button and it tells you what a song is playing and you can even do it in a crowded restaurant because I've done it in a crowded restaurant and it's worked. And then we've got iTunes, again another just app that everybody has. And finally we have Safari. So those are all my apps on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.